Alright, so now my super degreaser cleaner. Um, if you use this stuff, polishing compound, for your rings, let's say you just got done with a ring, you go out and you polish it, you'll know that you'll end up with some of this black stuff burnt from this, from the wheel. This stuff works amazing, but the black stuff's really hard to remove unless you use a toothbrush and a lot of scrubbing. I got tired of that. So what I wanted to do is put together a formula for uh, degreasing and so all the degreasing agents together that can go together without having some kind of cloud of death. Alright, so here's what I came up with. Distilled water. 300 milliliters of this. And you can grow this formula if you want. You know, just use these ratios. Then you need ammonia. I go 400 milliliters of this. Dawn dish soap. Any dish soap will work. It must be dish soap, not detergent. Make sure you don't use detergent. Detergent has bleach in it. Bleach in this stuff would not be good together. Uh, about three tablespoons of this, give or take. All right, now this stuff that's gonna be hard for you to find, maybe. Uh, it's easy to acquire in the United States. It's called trisodium phosphate. This stuff is awesome. Um, it's basically used to clean, well, you could read the label, decks and can effectively control lead paint dust. Amazing, right? Uh, yeah, this is some good stuff. And it doesn't hurt your hands. Uh, it, it says skin irritation, but the amount we're using isn't really that much mixed in with these chemicals. You'll notice that it's turning blue already, right? Isn't that cool? Okay, so here, um, I'm going to use about four to five tablespoons of this, roughly. A little more, don't hurt. There we go. Now this can be used as a soak. You can't use this for electro cleaning. Electro cleaning is much different. Maybe I'll show you that right now too. So what electro cleaning is. So you put this in a crock pot, turn it all the way on high, put your rings in there for about 30 minutes and just awe over the results of it. Okay, so there's that. That's a cool formula. And again, you can triple the batch based upon that ratio. So before we go into electro cleaning, this is muriatic acid and 10 milliliters of sulfuric acid. Mur muriatic acid is something that you use to clean uh, stones, concrete, uh, so you're going to find that in probably in your patio or brick place near in your hardware store. It's pretty easy to obtain. Now, be careful. Some jewels don't like it. So we're not going to dip it in there long. We're only dipping it in there for a few seconds, 30 seconds. You can go a little longer if it doesn't have a gem. I've gone up to like 30 minutes, depending upon how gutsy I got certain things, certain gems, you'll learn the difference, so just be careful. Uh, a list of gems off the bat, um, sodite, would not like this stuff at all. Uh, Argonite, would not like it at all. Uh, Lapis Luzi, eh -eh, not even close. And, oh, Appetite is not a good one either.
So if you have those four gems that I can think of off the top of my head, don't even try this. So, I want you to see something. When I open this lid, tons of fumes. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but there's a cloud coming out of it. Okay? That's normal. So, keep the lid on it. I warn you, if you leave that lid off, your basement will fill with this really noxious fumes that you will not and should not ever, ever breathe. Okay? So, be careful with that. Electro cleaning. Okay, let me adjust the camera so I can explain what that is. Because I was quite new to it too. Out of death. Okay, this is Tiva Clean. You can buy this at Rio Grande. You can electro clean using just about anything. I got two variations of electro cleaning solution. I got this and this. Let's cover this first. This is about $24. You put it in with water. When it evaporates out, you just keep adding water, adding water, adding water. This thing has lasted me so long because as soon as I get no water, I just add more water. The soap actually floats to the bottom of it and just, it's so, yeah, it just keeps going on and on forever. So I might have used about that much in this batch. And after that, I keep dumping in about a half gallon at a time. Don't fill this up too high because what it'll do, it'll overflow because fry daddies get fat, hot real fast. So what I do is plug in my fry daddy. I grab my positive lead. Oops. I'm going to take this positive lead off of uh, the electro plate over there. I have to move this forward a little bit for the demonstration. Put all of this stuff over and let's see what I could do here. All right, there we go. So this is what electro cleaning is. Notice that this is not touching the side here. This is metal. That's why I use that little clip. This is a stainless steel spoon. And now you need something to hold the ring. It could be anything, really. Um, looking around. Oh, there it is. A pair of tweezers. Okay. So you attach your tweezers to your negative. Uh, I just happen to have a ring up here. It's a, a nickel one, but it'll work for this demonstration. And you just put it in there, and then you crank your voltage up to about 10 to 15 volts. And I'm going to try to tilt the camera, and you can see how it's fizzing. That means it's working. So we go 30 to 60 seconds in this. It might darken your piece, so if it's darkening your piece, don't worry about it. I mean, your initial idea behind this is to what? Electroplate over the top of it, so. There we go. That's what electro-cleaning is. It gets pretty clean pretty fast, so it's worth it. Now usually I wait for it to heat up a little hotter than that, like boiling. Watch it though. Some, you know, as I said, it'll overflow on you and you don't want that. The other form of electro cleaning is this one. It's in that five or three gallon bucket back here. Let me adjust the camera. Uh, this is sodium bisulfate. 
mixed with sodium sulfate, so it's a perfect combination already. I didn't have to go out and buy the two separate chemicals. Uh, the sodium bisulfate is a good stripper. Um, the sodium sulfate is actually a good conductor of electricity. Both of them are sodium, so they both conduct electricity. This one strips the copper. This one mainly carries over the current, though. So it's a good, good combination. Now, this will put off some hydrochloric acid fumes, uh, so you shouldn't be over the pail when you're using this. What you'll do is you use a stainless steel anode. Okay, you can look how nasty that is. It's pretty nasty. And you have to brush it off every once in a while. Underneath that hot mess is stainless steel. You can also use silverware. Just buy the cheap silverware and hook it up. And uh, it kind of goes like this. It goes in reverse of what you think it is. So instead, my bad, this is going to be your cathode. Okay, this is your cathode, and this is your anode. And how it works, it takes little bits of the copper away and broad or puts it onto the stainless steel, and then it falls to the bottom. So what I'm doing is electro stripping a micro of copper at a time. And I've done some really cool tricks where, let's say my rings were too thick, I just left them in this solution, and I get these really thin wires that I can electroplate over the top of. So this is good, after, and I think I covered a video about this stuff uh, before, but this is really good right after you get the piece fired so it's dead soft, and then you have that nasty scale on it. You can dip it in this, and it'll turn out just perfect. So perfect for soldering. You can also use one of these. This works out good too. You just hook your wire right to the screen and then you can have several rings at a time floating in there. So again, your negative wire hooks to this and your positive hooks to the actual piece of copper. All right, wow, I covered a lot. So that's all my cleaning. It's, I use different things for different. You'll know once you, once you start getting into this stuff, if you're already starting to get into it, you'll know that certain things just need cleaning all the time, and it's such a pain to scrub. And this is my way of getting away the scrubbing. I don't scrub anything anymore. I don't use toothbrushes anymore. So I hope that helps you. And enjoy.